Now we can design gates using the CMOS devices or the CMOS technology. And we know about the logic gates. The NOT gate is actually the inverter where the input is 0, the output is going to be 1. And when the input is 1, the output is going to be 0. So here the 0 indicates the low and the 1 indicates the high. So it basically inverts the input. This is the NOT gate. Then we have the AND gate. The definition of AND gate is the output is going to be 1 whenever all the inputs are 1. That is the output is going to be high whenever all the inputs are high. And if any of the input is 0, the output is going to be 0. So the output is going to be 1 only and only if all the inputs are 1. In other words, the output is going to be high if all the inputs are high. If one of the input is low, the output is going to be 0. And then we have the NAND gate, which is actually not AND. So NAND can be read as not AND, which means that it is an inverter of AND. So the definition of NAND gate will be that output is going to be low when all the inputs are high. So when all the inputs are 1, then the output is going to be 0. So this is actually an inversion of this AND gate. You can see over here, in place of these three zeros, I have 1, 1, and in place of 1, I have 0. And it is indicated by this symbol. And then we have the OR gate. Basically, the OR gate is that whenever the one of the input is high, the output is going to be high. So if any of the input is high, the output is going to be high. If any of the input is 1, the output is going to be 1. And then we have the N, then we have the NOR gate, which is the NOT R gate. It is basically an inversion of the OR gate. If you can see over here, this is basically an inversion of the OR gate. And this is the symbol of the NOR gate. So this is the symbol of the NOT gate. This is the symbol of the AND gate, NAND gate, OR gate, and NOR gate. Now all these gates can be constructed using the CMOS technology. Now this is the circuit of NAND gate using the CMOS technology. And we know the truth table of the NAND gate. So this is the truth table of the NAND gate. This C is the output. This A and B are the inputs. And this is the symbol of the NAND gate. And we know about the NMOS and the PMOS. In case of NMOS, when the gate voltage is high, by high I means 1, the switch is going to be on. The switch is going to be closed. It means that in this case it is going to conduct current. And when the, out, the, when the input voltage, the gate voltage is low, the output in, this, in that case, the switch is going to be off. In that case, the switch is going to be open. So in that case, no current will flow. Similarly, for the P MOSFET, when the gate voltage is high, the switch is going to be off. High means 1 and off means the switch is going to be open. And when the gate voltage is low, that is 0, which is the input voltage, the switch is going to be on, which means the switch is going to be closed. And in this case, the current is going to be flowing. So now, let us consider the four cases. First case is that when both the inputs are low, that is A is equal to 0 and B is equal to 0. Now this is my P MOSFET, this is also my P MOSFET and these are my N MOSFET. So when we have low in case of N, this is the switch is going to be open. So we are going to have an open switch over here and open switch over here. And in this case, when that is low, the P MOSFET is going to be closed. So we are going to have closed switch here and closed switch here. So I'm going to draw this, redraw this circuit. So this is my VSS and because we have, we are applying low over here, A is low and B is also low. So this means that this is going to act as a closed switches. So we are going to have a closed switch here and we are going to have the closed switch here. And this is going to be my output C and these two are going to act as an open switches. So we are going to have an open switch over here and we are going to have an open switch over here. So this is the, I have redrawn this circuit using this. So now if you can see over here, this is my VSS which is the high. So C is going to be equal to the VSS which is high. So C is going to be equal to 1. You can see over here, we have C is equal to 1. So this was our first case. Now for the second case, we have A is equal to 0 and B is equal to 1. So I'm going to apply 0 over here and here I'm going to apply 1. Similarly, A is 0 and B is 1. Now again, I'm going to use this. For the P MOSFET, when we have low, the switch is on. So this is going to act as a closed switch. So I'm going to redraw here. This is my VSS and this is going to act as a closed switch. And when the 
the gate voltage the input voltage is high the switch is going to be off or open so we are going to have an open switch over here and this is my output which is c and then we have the n mosfet this is also n mos this is also n mos when the gate voltage is low in case of this n mos over here we are going to have the off switch so there the switch is going to be off so we are going to have an open circuit over here and when we have high vg the switch is going to be on which means that we are going to have a closed circuit over here so if we can have a look again this is connected over here we can have a look again this circuit is again disconnected so this c which is the e v out is going to be again equal to the vss because we have a closed path over here so c is equal to vss which is again high so for a is equal to 0 and b is equal to 1 we are going to have 1 over here which is high so this was our second case now for the third case when a is equal to 1 and b is equal to 0 so a is 1 and b is 0 a is 1 and b is 0 these are my n mosfets these are my p mosfets so when we have high the switch is going to be off so we are going to have an open circuit in this place so this will be open circuited let me rewrite again we are going to have an open switch over here and this is going to be closed because for the p mosfet when we have low the switch is going to be on so this switch is going to be on or closed and this is our output which is c and then we have the n mosfet so when we have a over here the switch is going to be on so we are going to have an on over here this is going to be on but this is going to be closed uh, this is going to be on but this is going this b is going to be open why because we have zero over here and when we have low over here the switch is going to be off so this is going to be open so this is an off switch so again this c is disconnected from this ground and it is connected again to this vss this is my vss again this is connected to the vss so again c will be equal to the vss which means that c will be equal to one so in this case again we have one over here this was our third case finally the fourth case when a is equal to one when both the inputs are one so now in that case what will be c again i am going to redraw this circuit so this is my vss now both are one and whenever for the p mosfet we have high the switch is off so we are going to have an open circuit in both the cases we are going to have an open circuit over here and we are going to have an open circuit over here and this is going to be my output c so these are open circuited and these is going to be closed circuited those these both are going to be closed circuited when because when the gate voltages are high the nmos is going to act as an on so these will be on both will be on and this will be connected to the ground if we can have a look this c is disconnected from this vss and it is directly connected to the ground which is zero volt which is low so c is going to be low or c is going to be zero so that's why for the case when a is equal to 1 and b is equal to 1 the output is going to be 0 so this is the circuit for the n gate so this circuit acts as a nand gate and we have used the cmos technology where we have used the p mosses and the n mosses this bubble shows that this is a p mos and this is the symbol of the n okay next is the nor gate using the cmos so this is the truth table of nor gate <coughs> the output is 1 when all the inputs are 0 this is the symbol of the NOR gate and this is the circuit. So let us now understand this circuit. We are going to take the help of this, these outputs. This truth table of NMOS and PMOS. Now this is my PMOS, this is also my PMOS and these two are my NMOSs. <coughs> NMOSFETs. Now for the first case both the inputs are 0. A is equal to 0 and B is equal to 0. So I am going to apply 0 over here and 0 over here as well now zero means low one means high so when i i apply low to the p mosfet to the gate terminal of the p mosfet to the input of the p mosfet the switch is going to be on so these two switches this is my vss which is high these two switches is going to be on so i'm going to have an on and an, another on so we are going to have two closed switches and this is my c which is the output and then i have the n mosfets and when I apply low to the N MOSFET, the switch is going to be off. So this is going to be off and this is also going to be off. So we are going to have 
an open switch over here and we are going to have an open switch over here. So I have redrawn this circuit. Now if you can have a look this C is equal to VSS which is high. The C is equal to 1. And there we go. We have C is equal to 1 when A is equal to 0 and B is equal to 0. Now for the second case we have A is equal to 0 and B is equal to 1. B is equal to 1 sorry. So A is 0 and B is 1. A is 0 and B is 1. Again for the P MOSFET when we have low the switch is going to be on. So this is going to be act as a low switch as an on switch. So we are going to have this is my VSS and this is high and in this place we are going to have an on switch that is the close switch and in this case we are going to have an open switch because when uh, the input to the P MOSFET is high it is all going to act as a off switch so this is going to be off or open and then we have the N MOSFETs so when we apply low R0 to the gate of the N MOSFET this is going to be off that is it is going to be open so this is going to be open and this is going to be closed this B is going to be closed when we apply high this is going to be closed which means that it is going to be closed and this is my output C so if you can have a look this C is disconnected from this VSS but it is connected to the ground to this to this path and ground is at 0 volt so C is going to be at 0 volt so the C is going to be low that is why the output is going to be 0 now for the third case when I have a is equal to 1 and b is equal to 0 in this case a will be 1 b will be 0 a will be 1 b will be 0 now when a is 1 this is my p MOSFET when a is high that is 1 the switch is going to be off so we are going to have an open circuit over here and this will be closed so we are going to have closed circuit over here and now we are applying 1 over here and 0 over here. So when we apply high that is 1 the switch is on. So there I am going to have a short circuit. And there I am going to have the open circuit. Then again this C, this C is disconnected. There is C over here which is the output. This is disconnected from this VSS which is high. And it is connected to ground to this path. So C is equal to 0 again. So this is my 0 volt. And for the final case I am going to have A is equal to 1 and B is equal to 1. Now A is high. So these switches, these two is going to be open. I am going to have an open switch and another open switch. And these two is going to be closed. And this is my C. So C is again going to be 0 volt. So the output is going to be 0. So this circuit acts as a NOR gate. 